Well, buckle up a rematch of last year's Class 2A final between Fargo Shanley and St. Mary's. Closing seconds of the first half, St. Mary's driving. Cole Sendrow escapes the sack, but he flips the ball out right into the arms of Shanley's Caden Kelsch, protecting a 7 6 Shanley lead at the half. Opening drive of the second half, and this time Shanley will be the ones turning the ball over. The pitch not connecting. St. Mary's Sam Harris jumps on it. The Saints' ensuing drive gets to the doorstep. But it will end on a fumble as well. Haley Buckholtz on the recovery, but it's all St. Mary's in the second half. Saints win 18 to 7 for their sixth straight win over the Deacons. Central Cast takes down Central Dakota 34 0 in other 2A action. To Davies High School for Bismarck High and Fargo Davies. If you blinked, you missed the first two touchdowns. Here is the first one on the opening kickoff. Alex York goes the distance. What a way to start out the football season. The Eagles would miss the PAT and have a 6-0 lead, but uh, it, uh, it didn't last very long because on the ensuing kickoff, Jalen Sprecher for the Demons answers right back with a kick return for a touchdown of his own. Ooh, some fireworks. Bismarck also misses the PAT to keep the game tied at 6. The Deacons would grab the lead in the first quarter with a short touchdown run from Lucas Butts, making the game 13-6. The Demons go on to win this one 32 to 13 bismarck century takes down red river 43 to 14. big matchup in west fargo between the packers and minot were scoreless in the first quarter with the magi on the move second and 10 on the 19 creighton rudolph with plenty of time in the pocket slings this one deep to peyton lamero on the edge of the end zone lamero bringing it in for the go ahead yeah. touchdown and a minot lead seven nothing packers work their way back down the field though first and goal on the eight Chase Tyken lowers his shoulder to take it into the end zone. Extra point, no good. 7-6, Minot still leads. West Fargo answers again in the second. It's first and goal on the six now. Quarterback Andy Gravdahl keeps this one, battles his way into the paint. Packers score a total of 22 points in the second quarter, leading to a 41-20 final for the Packers. Jamestown takes down Grand Forks Central, 30-6. West Fargo, Cheyenne out west, taking on Bismarck Legacy. We're going to go late in the first half. This is Jason Huckstra, the quarterback from Legacy. He's going to be scrambling, 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 and eventually he's going to throw up a prayer, and it's answered by Hunter Human, a 52-yard touchdown pass and catch to give the Sabres a 7-0 lead at half. It was tough sledding for the Mustangs. A fourth down shutdown by the Sabres after a good drive as the Sabres go on to win. 19-7 to is your final. Back in the East, Fargo South hosting Mandan. Bruins with a 14-0 lead in the second quarter with the Braves charging for the scoreboard. Looking for some magic here on third down and six. Kraus goes down the field, but Cade Brisk gets inside position, and he gets the interception. Bruins needing five yards here later in the second. They go ahead and get 25 as they break into the end zone on a nice pass from Jack Pfeiffer to Tanner Beaton. They'll add another touchdown as Xander Lukowski punches it in from four yards out. 21-0 Bruins lead at the half. South goes on to win 36-0. Fargo North and Dickinson tonight. At last check, Midgets holding a 21-3 lead in the fourth quarter. Valley City beats Wapaton 38-12. Williston shuts out Devils Lake 20-0. For more scores, head on over to the sports page. Sports